Thank you, sir. I want to thank everybody for coming out today, and, and I want to thank Alpha, uh, the Farmers Federation, for their help and their support, and all of their members, from the county presidents and the people who make up this organization. I just want to say thank you. As we know that, um, well, I started this endeavor officially April 6th, and at that time, uh, we announced our candidacy for the 7th Congressional District. The 7th Congressional District is a very unique district in the state of Alabama. It's a very important district in the state of Alabama, and I want to represent that. As a member of the state legislature, I've had the opportunity to work with Alpha. I've had to work with family farmers. I've had to work uh, the opportunity to work with the industry of agribusiness, and I found it very fulfilling, and I know its role in the state and in the state's economy. As we know, agribusiness uh, and the workers and the people that make it up, you know, have 400 or, or over 450,000 employees or people who are employed in the agribusiness. And it's not just farmers. It's equipment dealers. It's retailers. It's a truck drivers. It's a lot of different people who make up business, farming, agribusiness, and all of those different facets of um, the agriculture economy. And I want to say thank you because this is very important that we recognize the importance. We didn't just uh, stumble upon this endorsement. This was an endorsement that we actually went out and we sought for because we know that they represent all the people, the, a lot of insurance, they represent farmers, they represent business across the 7th Congressional District. It's a very important endorsement and I tell people all the time that until you realize the makeup of the state of Alabama, you don't necessarily understand quite how important this is. One of the things I've been able to do in the legislature is to cross over the aisle. It's not about partisan politics when you think about making the 7th Congressional District in the state of Alabama better. And so that's what we've tried to do. We've tried to work with everybody from business. We've tried to work with everybody to labor. We've tried to work with working men and women because that's what's important. And that's what we'll continue to focus on. So this is not about trying to please one different side or one specific side. This is about realizing that to make this a better place, to make the 7th Congressional District, to make Alabama a better place, we all have to work together. It's got to be business. It's got to be working men and women. It's got to be agriculture. It's got to be tourism. We can bring a lot of these things together. We can make all this work by working together. I think to make the 7th Congressional District a better place, we have to learn to work together. This has got to be municipal, the city organizations. This has got to be county. This has got to be state, working with the federal government. And that's what I pledge to do as the, the congressional representative for the 7th Congressional District. 